Um, I think my age might have played a factor, but it's really hard to, to, you know, to gauge because, like for example, let's say you know, I get insured to an investor and if they see my age and don't respond, I have no idea. But I think in, in general, it, was, it probably didn't matter either way. I think the great thing about investors are that, is that they're just so financially motivated, right? They get, you know, they're return-based, right? They're, they're literally, their performance is a number, a single number, which means that I don't think they really care about not just age, but gender or race. Like, they're just going to invest, I think, if, it's, if, it, if they think they're going to get a return on it. And so I hope, you know, they judge maybe me as an individual, maybe my experience, maybe my, my track record, but I don't think my age played a factor into, into the equation. So I think there are a few things that helped me out a lot when I was raising money in terms of just how fast it happened and the kind of caliber of investor I was able to get. One was that I had a lot of relationships with investors before I wanted to raise money, um, just from building a lot of side projects and blogging and tweeting and all these things. Like Investors will start to track you automatically if they think you're eventually going to do your own company. Um, it's kind of their job. Um, so I had enough people that were like interested what, that when I left my you know my previous company, it was it was pretty easy and like to to get a lot of meetings lined up because all of these people were kind of pinging me anyways. You know, like when I tweeted out that I was doing my own thing now, you know, I got like fifty to one hundred emails from investors that are like, "Hey, do you want to talk?" Um, and it you know, investing is a very one. It's very momentum based. So if you have a lot of trust and you have previous relationships, it's a lot faster. But two, it's it's so it's just so fast, right? Like most investment meetings, you sit down with someone for an hour and then they invest like a hundred grand, right? Like an hour into a hundred grand, like that's a very difficult decision to make. Um, but what I had, I think, was that they knew me before, they could read my blog, so they like the relationship, you know, that we that we had was a lot longer than an hour. So someone could go back and be like, okay, this kid was talking about building products really passionately a year and a half ago. You know, he's just not making this up for an hour pitch. Um, and I think that helped a lot. Yeah, so for me, when I was thinking about leaving USC, right, my, my initial roadmap in terms of my career was get a degree, you know, four years, get a degree, join a, a big company or a medium-sized company for, you know, work there for a year or two, then join an early stage startup, work there for a year or two, and then found my own company, right? So that was like a seven-year plan before I w wanted to start my own company. and. I started getting a bunch of kind of full-time job offers from startups in the valley and I was like, wow, I could actually potentially save five to six years of my career um, you know, if, I, if this was my path. And actually the bigger thing is like, I didn't even know if I wanted to start a company. You know, like a lot of these people, you know, they watch the social network and they're like, I want to start a company. But I was like, I don't know, I just want to build stuff. And maybe starting a company is the best way to do that and maybe it's not. And I didn't want to waste or spend at least six to seven years of my life to figure that out if I could leave USC for a semester or a year or, or however long you know, amount of time and figure that out now. So that was, that was my kind of decision was like, okay, like, it doesn't make sense for me to take at least a semester off of school to learn if you know, you know, startups is like a fun thing to do. You know, if people say it is, but I really wanted to experience it to learn if you know, starting a company was something I could potentially do myself. You know, even if I wanted to, it requires a lot of skills that I think I might not have had, um, you know, or there's no way to, to really know. Um, and it was, it was just a semester, you know, I wasn't like, like, you know, I'm out, like I'm not ever coming back. It was like, I'm just going to take a semester off, you know, half a year, and that could potentially impact my life forever. Like, it's, it's totally worth it, you know, and if things don't go well, I can go back. Um, so I was not, hopefully I wasn't like rash, you know, I didn't run to a decision. I, I took it a few weeks to figure it out and make sure that I wasn't, you know, being dumb about, you know, about leaving school. And I think it, it, it made sense and my parents understood my decision-making process and they were comfortable with it. So I think it, I think it worked out for everyone.